In Dutch 2, Angel finds herself in a challenging situation with the crew, trying to regain uh, territory and other things. Um, what ex aspects of Angel's character did you find most intriguing to explore? And how did you bring your own interpretation to this strong and determined woman? Um, well, the most intriguing thing about Angel that's very far from Roxy is that she's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> and that in itself is like okay um exploring that love for somebody and wanting that loyalty from somebody i think is some is something that we could relate to whether we're sh gay or straight you want loyalty and you want love from people and you want respect um but ultimate respect you know uh was something that is like almost wanting to conquer that uh, was something that drove Angel. She lived for that. She lived for that. She she got a high off of respect. Um, and that was really interesting to explore because I've never been one. I personally am not the type of person that's like, all eyes on me. You got to respect me. Bow down. Like that's not Roxy. <laughs> uh, but Angel demands, she demands respect. And she demands uh, to be seen and listened to, whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, so I thought that was always really interesting to play into and uh, and finding her strength. Like I, I consider myself a strong woman, a strong, independent mm -hmm. woman. But there's another level to Angel that, I, you know, is just like hard, badass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, especially to, you know, there was like gripping scenes and action scenes. What were some of the most memorable moments on set and how did they contribute to the overall um, dynamic in the film for you, for you and other characters? Um. Some of the fun things were like definitely the shootout scenes were fun. And uh, I remember the props guy, they were like trying to give me lessons on on how to hold the gun, not knowing that I am a licensed gun owner and have been to the range and like I could shoot that thing. So they were like <laughs> saying things to me and they were like, oh, oh, okay. you know, <laughs> yeah, they were like, OK, she knows like, what to do. So that was yeah. that was kind of fun because it's only because you, you're in a male dominated space where they don't think that they that you know what to do. And then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I pop that thing off with no problem or hesitation. So that was that was fun. That was like a, a fun day on set. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of lighthearted moments in between the serious scenes, but we kind of needed that for, you know, for our own mental. Mm -hmm. uh, to get through some of those those hard scenes. I, I really enjoyed sharing the screen with with everybody, but uh my heaviest scenes were with Dakia and um mm -hmm. who plays my girlfriend Goldilocks and then mm -hmm. also Marquise who plays uh Zoom. Like those two I had to really lean into because we had some we had some heavy things that we had to get through. Mm -hmm. Uh what do you think sets this sequel apart in terms of its character's dynamics and the challenges your character Angel encounters compared to the original? Well, you know, in in the foundation one, of course, Dutch mm -hmm. one, it was Lance, you know, Lance mm -hmm. is Dutch, Lance is our leader. And um mm -hmm. in the sense of like this one, it's it's all Angel and Angel's revenge for Dutch, you know, and and the dynamic and the narrative changes to be very woman strong friendly uh led drama you know mm -hmm. it's 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 a woman leading it than than a man it's 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 angel getting revenge for her for her friend um for her guy so mm -hmm. uh, that's the difference but i would i would dare to say it's on a level playing field when it comes to intenseness and scenarios that that we get into